And we're back with the bad trailers for Trailer Bait. The bait that was stinky and slimy, and we would never wah, wah, even smell it, let alone put our lips on those hooks. I don't know. That was kind of... Eh. Anywho, um, Johnny, what do you got for the trailer you don't want to see, be- the movie that you don't want to see because that trailer was pew-pew? Blake, I'm about to go hard, all right? Go hard. I'm about to go hard. Mm. I'm about to go hard on Hardcore Henry. Ooh, it sounds like a manufacturer that makes tools. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or or it definitely sounds like it could e- easily be a porn as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Hardcore Henry? For sure. Oh, yeah. I didn't um, think about it. That's the obvious choice. Yeah. That was, I don't know where my Which I would I'm probably prefer over this. And, I, and this might be a sign of me getting old or a sign... Um, that I'm just not in this demographic at all, which is okay. But Hardcore Henry is a POV f- movie, a feature film that is all from a first-person point of view. Um, that's never been done before, right? I don't think it has. I, yeah. There, it just couldn't have been. There's been, like, scenes of it, but there's I, there's never been a full-length feature film. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. You don't know for sure, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. I highly doubt it. I, I do, too. It would It would be... Uh, I don't. I don't think it really works. I think it, to me, it looks like it's a, it's a gimmick. Um, it is something that belongs um, not in a feature film. It could work if it had a plot. This <laughs> this trailer doesn't even try to show you a plot. Yeah. It tells you um, this guy has been rebuilt and let's go. And there's and no, then kill stuff. Kill stuff. Stuff blows up. It looks really cool. It looks amazing. Sure. Aesthetically, it's awesome. A lot of cool action scenes, which I think they probably spoiled a lot of cool action scenes oh, in this trailer. Absolutely. Which is pretty much all this movie has going on for it. It's, all, it's just a giant, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just nonstop action for the whole thing, pretty yeah. much. I mean, from the trailer's perspective. And then there's a weird Tim Roth cameo. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, who, who's the gentleman uh, that was in uh, like District Nine? Um, he was in uh, Elysium. He's in it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Tim Roth one was really weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know that guy. But so Tim, I saw Tim Roth in there, and I was like, is this their attempt to say like this is an actual movie that has actual people yeah, we, in it? We got some actor <laughs> that you know in yeah. here, <laughs> but we could only pay him for one day, so he's only on like two scenes. Right, right. Um, so it's just really disappointing to me. It's like a gimmick. It's like 3D movies and all that stuff. If it has a good script and a good plot, I mean, I'll watch it. It, it doesn't matter. What, but. what if this movie, I mean, you don't know based off the trailer, obviously, but what if this movie was only like 40 minutes? How'd you feel about that? Um, I don't know. 40, 40 would maybe be too long for me. I think <laughs> even, too long. even watching the trailer, I got like nauseated and dizzy sure. just by the end of it just because it's like nonstop this crazy yeah. uh, motion and uh, he's running around and stuff's blowing up the entire time and it's all POV. So it's like shaky, yeah. uh, steady cam kind of stuff. It's it. Yeah. It's a lot. It's I a got lot. dizzy. It's like a roller coaster ride that you, that you're going to be on for an hour. Nobody wants to be on a roller coaster for an hour. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, video games are really huge. Uh, video games are huge and they've been huge for a while. And you know, shooters, this game is I mean, this movie is really based off a, a shooting game, like take yes. your Halo or your Call of Duty or whatever it may be. And, you know, it's different, you know, playing on a screen at home while you're controlling it and blah, blah, blah. But like seeing it in the movies that big um, and you're not playing it, mind you, it's 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 just there's a reason why video games exist. It's its own genre and, and like or not video games, but that's like, there's a, it exists for that reason, you know, like sure. they, they, there's some things that video games can do that movies can't do and vice versa. Yeah. It's a different medium. Yeah. And it, like, you, uh, there's Twitch. You want to tell the viewers a little bit about Twitch? Yeah. More it's, than uh, I Twitch do. is just, uh, it's like uh, YouTube has the same thing too. YouTube gaming and Twitch. It's just pretty much a online, uh, streaming service where you pretty much just watch people play video games or talk about video games and you can donate to the the, the creators, um, and for whatever reason, and it's pretty much watching Twitch is what this movie is. It's yeah. pretty much been going on Twitch and watching this. So movie. Twitch has a, I mean, it's a huge following. People do watch this. I just think that they needed to invest a little bit more money in the script, or at least in this trailer, it needs to showcase a little bit more plot. Yeah. And I think they probably spoiled a lot of the awesome action scenes. I agree. So and I think that this like. Uh, POV shots are awesome. I love them in movies. Sure. Like they're, they're not used that often. 
And I think when they're used, like I can think of some examples like um, Children of Men is a great one. I don't know if that was POV though, but it, I think it was. Children of Men had an amazing one. And I think even the video, the shitty ass video game movie Doom, that had a good POV. It was like giving an homage to the game. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. The, uh, with the gun shooting. And, um, and, and uh, Evil Dead had a good one. Uh, there's like POV just are great, but for a whole movie, that's when I feel like it's a gimmick. Like, like we want to be the first to do say we did this or we're trying to, you know, stand out just for the sake of standing out. Yeah. I, it's instead of making a good action movie, we want to use this to try and get your attention. Yeah. And we appreciate risk. I think risks are important. Absolutely. And I, I'm glad they took a risk. Absolutely. I just, you know, and again, we haven't seen it, but the trailer suggests very little plot. It looks like a gimmick movie. I'm going to pass. Pass. And I'd rather just watch Twitch. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch him watch Twitch. All right. Moving on to the last part of Trailer Bait, my bad trailer. 